what if there was a, a mindset, what if there was a, a limiting, a very limiting belief or thought process that was the reason why millions, millions and millions of songs were never sang and books were never written and, and projects were never done and, ne and dreams were never fulfilled. And I talked about this before, but I want to really emphasize this on this short little video today is that I'm really constantly being reminded that I can give myself permission, and so can you, my friend, so can you. I can give myself permission to be perfectly imperfect, to be perfectly imperfect. What I'm, what I'm being reminded of is all my key mentors in life and all your key mentors and people throughout history from the good book on and our leaders of this country and before this country was ever developed, they were all perfectly imperfect. <laughs> so my challenge that I'm giving myself and I'm, I'm, I'm throwing out to you is that if you're thinking of your your purpose-filled next venture in your life or whatever your gifting is, whether it be in the form of uh, the next action at your church or at your, at your, with your family or with your business community or with your, you know, your friends, do that thing that you are judging yourself or your, do that thing that you're passionate about even though you feel like it's inadequate. Because the, the truth of the matter is, it's more than adequate, and it, can, and it will and it can change lives. So let me read to you this little quote in closing. And this is from The Lost Choice by Andy Andrews, one of my incredible mentors here, hopefully one of yours. Here it is. A person who is acting, acting upon an ideal is happy and fulfilled. But a person who only intends to act on this ideal spirals into an ever-deepening pool of guilt and regret. How many want to be happy and fulfilled? I do. Then act on that passion, purpose, dream, vision. Give yourself permission to be perfectly imperfect. Make it an amazing day today, a perfectly imperfect day. Uh, take care.